To make this project easier to work on, what I did is I pulled the armature right out of the motor. It cut, it's a little tight, but you can get it out of there. Uh, you got to be very careful though, this wiring, it's, it's old, it's brittle, and you, you don't want that breaking away on there, you're going to have a, a real problem, especially up here where it goes into the windings. So be careful as you do it, although it's, it's uh, hard to get out of there. Now what we did, took the Brent Dremel tool, and you can see it's no longer rounded in there, it's, it's kind of grooved in one corner there, and that pin on the bottom side... Um, now drops back in there, which means the brush is going to go in tighter to the commutator. Before it was limited on its travel, it couldn't get down to the commutator. And I did that on all three of them. There's three brushes on here. So now, we're what we're going to do is we're going to reassemble it. And hopefully we shall be fine. And I cleaned up the ends of the brushes and also the commutator here. I went over that with steel wool about all I could do with it. It is worn down in there and that's where the wear actually took place more so on here than it did on the on the brushes. So we shall reassemble and see what we have. Alright we have the egg cap back on the motor. Got the armature back in. I haven't put the bolts in through the engine through the motor yet. But any assembling that you redo Use a rubber mallet, don't use an, a heavy hammer. And also before you start tearing it apart, I should have mentioned this sooner to you, take your screwdriver and just put a mark from the casing over to the motor itself. And those will be your realignment indicators for when you put your bolts back in so they go in easy. Uh, otherwise, uh, you're trying to fumble around and try and get it centered up so your bolts will go in. As you can see that bolt slid right in because I had the marks lined up. Okay we're going to break here again a little bit and reassemble. Now we have the motor reassembled, we've got power to it and we're going to plug it in and see what we have. Instant start. And again. No failures. Now, when you go to put your armature back in, be careful. On the back end of the armature, there are a couple uh, bushings there. Make sure they haven't dropped out on you. Get them back in place. All right, we are ready to put this back in the piano and run a few medleys. Hope this video is helpful to you.